Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video, we're going to learn how to add row names to a matrix. So, to illustrate what we do want to know about adding row names to a matrix, let's first of all create a very, very simple matrix. On line 4 here, I'm creating a matrix called new, ma new mass, or new matrix, using the matrix function. Um, the matrix is going to consist of 20 values, uh, the numbers 1 to 20. I'm specifying them that the matrix will have four rows in it. 20 is divisible by 3, so I do not need to specify columns in this case here, which there will be three columns. And I want my numbers to be uh, by, uh, displayed by rows, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in the first row, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 in the second row, and so on. So let me create this new matrix and print out the resultant matrix using the print function. And we can see here in the console what our matrix looks like. So we've got five columns and four rows. Remember in our code we specified four rows. So 20 divided by four gives us five. So that's why we have five columns in this place. Now you can see that the, the, co the columns uh, labels across the top. These are numbers after the comma inside the square brackets. So they're numbered one, two, three, four, five. And rows are similarly numbered one, two, three, four. Note that the numbers are before the comma and there's nothing after the comma. So my matrix here does not have any column names and does not have any row names. So it might be okay to do this, but normally we will look at data which has column names and row names. So this video, I'm going to add in some column names. So what I want to be able to do is replace the numbers 1, 2, 3, and 4 in the very left hand here in the row names with, with text. I want to give them a names. In my case here, I'm going to use the names of four countries. So to do this, the row names function is the function I will need to use to change, to add my row names to the, my new matrix, N-E-U-M-M-A-T. So uh, I'm going to add in my row names here, and I'm going to use the combine operator C, uh, open and close brackets, and here's where I'm going to add in the text that I want my row names to be. So I'm going to start off with, and don't forget this needs to be in inverted commas, so I'm going to start off with my own country, Ireland, uh, inside, outside the um, qu double quotes here, another comma, a space, you don't need the space but I'm putting it in for readability, uh, two inverted commas, I'm going to add in Canada next, another comma, Next country I'm going to add in is India. Uh, and finally, I'm going to add in the United States as the USA. So, so um, if I make a typo, I can go back and uh, um, fix this. Now, I know in my case here that I have four rows in my data set. So if I added in a fifth country here, this, this wouldn't work. We check that in a moment. So let me run this and print out my new matrix. So run, that's line eight, print this out. And we can see now that we have added in our names in as the each row has its own name in the order that I have specified in the um, um, row names function up here. If I added in, let me go back in and edit this. If I go in and add in, say, an, a, a, th a fifth country, so I put in the UK, rerun this piece of code, we can see that we are getting an error message here because our uh, matrix does not have um, five rows in it, we've created a matrix of four rows, therefore we should not have a fifth label. So I'm going to, for the purposes here, I'm going to remove my last row name here, rerun my line of code to fix it, and print out my new format, and we can see that we've got our country names back again. In video number 54, we learn how to add column names to this very matrix. So that's how you add row names to a matrix in R. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.